comparison to what will happen here at Exit Wounds if somehow Ian Slater can upset Cody Rhodes, the grandson of a plumber, and become WTPW Internet Champion. Last week, maybe he'll do it again here. As the tension begins to build, we await the appearance. Of Cody Rhodes. And ladies and gentlemen, it's champion representing the Bullet Club from Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Winning tonight at 206 pounds. This is your first three. November 30th, the same night by the way, that Slater and Moss won that tag title tournament. Since then, Rhodes has defended that belt all around the wrestling world. Just this past week, Matt, he's been in New York with Ring of Honor. He was in Japan with New Japan. He's beaten Kurt Angle in a steel cage match. This is quite simply one of the hardest working men in professional wrestling. Now, forget what you know about Cody's lineage. His father, Dusty Rhodes, rest in peace, Hall of Famer. His brother, Goldust. Cody really has made his own niche for himself. He wrestles nothing like his father, nothing like his brother. And I admire that in Cody Rhodes, carving out his own place in wrestling history. Cody, ever popular here. WCBW and Slater oh. going to try and take him by surprise. Liam Slater with the biggest night of his young career. That might be a smart move by Slater. That is, we did not expect that at all. Oh, Slater may be going to go for that flying headbutt early. Slater to finish it. Slater with a big upset. A big upset. Oh, oh no, no, no. We've seen that flying headbutt from guys like Dynamite Kid and Pegasus Kid as well. But Liam Slater, that one had a little bit of stank on it. And let me tell you, if Cody gets back up to his feet, Liam is in for a fight. If I'm Liam, I don't let Cody get vertical. Somewhere Johnny Moss is smiling with the ring savvy that Slater is showing beyond his years. Yes, and of course Slater, a product of the great Marty Jones, and you just see that tenacity coming out in Liam Slater. I am impressed. Slater looks like he's well prepared oh, to take risks here. He's little mistake, little mistake talking to the crowd right there. That split second. Maybe what Cody needs right there. Look at that. Shades of Flair Steamboat right into the figure four. Modified figure four by the internet champion. And, and uh, Slater in some trouble. He's right in the middle of the ring. This one has set off an electric pace. I was just going to say, notice how Cody was leaning on his own hip. That gave Liam a little bit of reprieve. And now all the pressure coming on Liam's right leg. He needs to get Cody's left leg off. And that's what he's trying to do. Cody is... Uh, Trying to cinch down the pressure here. Slater trying to reverse it. And it's very smart. You'll notice how Liam's ankle is pressed just below his knee. That is the proper execution of the figure four. You'll see sometimes guys will have it high on the knee or actually on the patella. But the most pain comes just underneath on the shin. Liam wise to get to the ropes for reprieve. Well, he did make the ropes in the end. But Matt, the question is, right, how long uh, 
that he was in that, that figure four. Is he going to be hurt after that? And look at Cody, veteran wherewithal. He cut his opponent off. You'll see a lot of young wrestlers will follow their opponent out, but not Cody. He headed his opponent off, headed his opponent off at the pass, and now dumps him into the crowd and goes back in, maybe trying to get a count out here. Well, Cody, for all uh, the, the thousands of fans here at in WCBW who love him, has got a pronounced ruthless streak, and you saw it there. Liam Slater deposited in the front row. And you see Liam, referee has to attend count. Cody has to get in the way there. Referee has to restart the count. And no, the referee's going to pick it up at five. So Slater, I think, is just about going to make it. If that leg holds out, yes, he does. He's in. He's got fight, this Liam Slater. But Cody giving him absolutely no rest time. Straight back in. Relentless. So stomps to Slater. Cody Rhodes had a remarkable January here in uh, WCPW in just a, a matter of a, a couple of week period. He beat Zack Sabre Jr., King Ricochet, and Marty Skrull in internet title defenses. Well, I wonder if the experience with Zack Sabre Jr. that these two share will come into play here as Cody goes for a nice stall suplex. All the blood rushes to the head of Liam Slater, sent down into a modified gourd buster. Perhaps an homage to Arn Anderson. Slater is uh, gasping for air now. And Cody, I think, starting to sense that he is taking the real upper hand here. It's a little rainmaker yeah, there. Yeah, harder. Maybe learn that over in New Japan. So I talked about how hard working he is. I've said this before, but that match against Zack Sabre Jr., by the way, was a, a Kirby Mania. And uh, just 24 hours before, he had been in the Tokyo Dome. Mm. Well, you mentioned Martin Kirby. Again, we wonder who the replacement general manager will be. But right now, we wonder if perhaps a new internet champion comes our way. No! And uh, shoulder block by Slater. It's going to roll through into the sunset flip. Cody's shoulders go down, but he rolled it up. Oh. Slater with that electric fast paced start is maybe starting to pay for that now. You'll notice Cody went for the leg hook on the second cover and if you know Cody Rhodes, you'll know that he can be his own worst enemy. Once he gets frustrated, he gets very sloppy. Cody needs to maintain his composure here. Slater is uh, trying to gain his bearings here, but Cody, as you say, is completely You'll notice to, to our astute wrestling fans out there, when Cody grabs his opponent, it's usually by a joint, it's usually by an elbow, by a wrist, by an ankle. That is smart body control. Cody is going to grab Slater here. Yeah, snap mare takedown. Again to the wrist, to the elbow. Joint manipulation here by Cody Rhodes. Well, Slater has some experience of this. Zack Sabre Jr. twisted mm -hmm. him like a pretzel last week on Loaded, and Slater was always able to find a way out. Yeah, I like what Cody did there. You'll see a lot of young wrestlers, that they'll shake their finger, no, no, no. When you put your hand or your arm out there, your opponent can grab it so easily. Cody maintains control. Slater into the corner. It's hard into those turnbuckles as Cody continuing to press home this advantage. And, uh... Mr. Bradshaw, Hawk, if you will. Have you noticed how the pace has slowed? That's conducive to Cody Rhodes. Awesome. Where is that in there? A little great Muda for a fan. That might be a distraction, though. I mean, to, to your point, Matt, I think Slater, uh, I think, sorry, Rhodes, I think, was a little bit surprised at the speed with which Slater came out of the gates, and Absolutely. it's taken him a few minutes to really stamp his authority on this match. Of course, we'll keep an eye on the leg of Liam Slater. Seems to be okay as this match progresses. Adrenaline is a great drug. Slater with that inside drop kick. He's trying to get himself fired up here, drawing energy from the crowd. Goes on in the corner, he'll take up a second run up. Liam Slater makes the most of the space between himself and his opponent. Now it's all about timing here. Brings Cody out to the middle of the ring. Slater goes behind. Side suplex. I've said it before, anytime you cross the legs, hang on. Wraps him you up. open up that hip socket, and Liam goes right to a single leg crab. 
and look at the extension of Cody's leg. If Liam can get a deeper bend on that, he can really put pressure on Cody's hamstring, knee, and lower lumbar region. All right, Slater needs to sit down on that though because Cody was able to wriggle a little bit closer to the ropes there. And finally, powers his way out. Little world of sport homage. Oh, beautiful disaster! Slater may be unconscious if Cody can roll over and make the cover then Cody's going to retain the internet title here in Newcastle. And look at the difference. Now Liam just gets his shoulders off the mat. Cody's shoulders were never on the mat. To me, that's the difference between a professional and one that is working his way up. Shades of gold dust there. Cody's brother is Slater into the corner. And Slater now in on the middle turnbuckle, but he took too long getting there for the second time in this match. Cody. And Slater all wrapped up, drops him down. Looked like he was going for a muscle buster. Cody with two, does he get three? No, left, uh, left shoulder up for Slater. This one will continue. And I, I'm a big Liam Slater fan. I'll be the first one to say it. And honestly, if Liam can just find a mistake that Cody makes. See that right there? Cody looking out at the crowd. That's the mistake, and Liam needs to see that and take advantage of it. I believe in Liam Slater as a competitor, and I think the whole world can learn his name right here and right now. Competing crowd chance here. Our fans in Newcastle, pretty evenly split. Here we go. Little Johnny Saint there through the legs. The drop down designed to trip Slater too quick. Oh, Slater catches Cody on his shoulders. Uh oh. Cody! Oh. Crossroads by the internet oh. champion. And Cody no. Rhodes! What? Cody Rhodes did not retain there. That in and of itself is a victory for Liam Slater. Kicking out. No one here thought that that was going to be what would happen, but Liam Slater still has some fight in him. Cody Rhodes with an expression on his face that I think mirrors what everyone in this building is thinking right now. How on earth did Liam Slater find a way to kick out of the crossroads? And now Cody looking to build momentum here, trying to find a position of attack. Cody will go for Slater that had to turn to face him. Yeah, Rhodes will go for that beautiful disaster. A mistake from Slater. Come on, kid. Slater. Landing awkwardly outside the ring. Not much padding out here either. It's Cody going to launch off the middle rope, the top rope, and takes out Slater. Cody had to go to the high risk offense. It's a tip of the cap to what Liam Slater has been doing to Cody throughout this match that Cody had to dig deep. Much like Zack Sabre Jr. before him, is surprised that this has been such a, a difficult outing for him. And that is all credit to Liam Slater. Cody, though, stalking his prey Look now. Look at Liam. Look at the fight in this young man. Here we go. Slater counters on the crossroads. And Slater trying oh to pick Slater. Slater. Looks to be an Alabama jam here. The homage to Bob Holly. Cody going to go for the cover. No, 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 no! Slater's got the shoulders down. New champion, no! No, 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 no. Ooh, come on, Liam. Stay focused now. Two and three quarters for the young man from Bradford. Hard four on there. And if this turns into a slugfest, it definitely behooves Cody Rhodes. He has the height and weight advantage. Cody. Uppercuts, and you're right. He's starting to gain the upper hand here. A slight, slight notification that Cody switched from forearms to jabs. Liam was using European uppercuts. Now catches the backslide. Cody rolls through. And Slater picks him up. The power bomb. Slater is going to go for that headbutt again. He didn't get it done earlier. Could it this time? Nobody home. And is that the nice. end of this opportunity for Slater? Yes, it is. Cody Rhodes retains. What an effort from Slater. Mark on his face as he is, he knows he, he stole one. Yeah. Liam did what Liam needed to do. He went to his coup de gras, that headbutt, and Cody moved out of the way and just used a basic wrestling pin, got the one, two, three, but you best believe that while Cody Rhodes is still your internet champion, Liam Slater has earned the respect of the what culture faith.
Cody beckoning his fallen opponent back into the ring here. I like this. This looks like this is about respect. And that's what this sport is about and what it always will be about. Respect for your opponent inside the ring. Cody Rhodes. Come on. One of the... <laughs> Good for that. He's got a sense of humor. I'm going to stand once again for Liam Slater. Liam Slater, an incredible effort in a career that is only just getting started. He did not win championship gold on this night in Newcastle, but you've got to believe that day is coming, and it is coming soon. Cody Rhodes. Cody showing respect to the ring, to the title, to the fans, and to this great sport known as professional wrestling. What an ambassador for this company and for this industry is Cody Rhodes. And I think Cody has something to say here, asking for a microphone. He's earned it. Let's hear from our internet champion after a hard-fought victory against Liam Slater. Club for 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 life. 